Today is going to be a great day. Well, I say that. I am spending the whole day up on the Moray Coast. I'm planning on filming this video and maybe another one, maybe two more. It depends how the day goes, to be honest. Each one will be at, at different locations for different reasons. So this first one is a very popular spot with photographers and it's easy to see why um, due to this wonderful feature in the sea. Oh my word. Can you see those roe deer? Just in front of me, a whole family. It's amazing. So, I've come here, it's just before sunrise now. Very early morning. Um, I don't think there's gonna be any sunrise colours, there's much too much clouds, There's, it's just going to block out the light from the east. Um, I can see a very, very faint yellow in the far distance. I've been after getting <laughs> this, uh, this feature with a sunrise, or colours at sunset even, for a very long time. Anyway, so... I'm going to get moving because it's about 15 minutes until sunrise. This video is all going to be about this area. Um, I'm going to look around, I'm going to find different compositions featuring this formation and I'm going to have a look at another one that's close by, see if I can get anything with that eye. Um, I have photographed this many times before to be honest, but it's about showing you this wonderful location and how beautiful it can be. And I better tell you where I am. I am at Bow Fiddle Rock, which is a very famous rock formation that sits on the sea.
just putting on my three stop grad soft grad and D filter to bring in the sky a bit. The composition for this shot is really quite simple. You've seen how it looks. The first shot that I want to get is straight on with these rocks as a foreground interest, a bit of the beach as well. I don't want to be, I'll, I will check the shot out in a minute of being a, a lot closer to those foreground rocks, but I like the fact that I have like um, layered three thirds. So the top third is the sky with the rock, the middle third is the sea with the foreground rocks, and then the bottom third, the real foreground is the beach. And that just gives you a sort of lead in to the rocks. Now according to my exposure meter I'm actually overexposing by a stop. But that's giving a lot of definition to the actual rock face of Bow Fiddle which is what, you know, adds a lot of interest to the image and it means that you can see the textures of the rock a lot clearer than if that was darker and in shadow. So the settings for this shot are ISO 100 as always. I'm going to just increase my depth of field on that. Yeah, that's better. F11, 1.6 seconds. So you get a little bit of smoothness on the water as well. It's not so jagged. Two second timer. And I am really happy with how that looks. As I said, uh, it is now just gone sunset. There was no colours whatsoever in the sky. I didn't think there would be. There's just too many clouds, too much low clouds blocking out the light. But this is a great location even when there is no colours in the sky. It works. So I've got that shot in the bag. Now I'm going to reposition, I'm going to try getting closer to these rocks for another straight on shot and then I'll show you some compositions that can be had more side on and what have you. As you can see it took me a while to sort out the tripod and position it correctly but I managed to get a lot closer and I'm shooting very wide at 17 millimeters and you can see from the composition here that again I'm trying to put the sky on the, the top third the beach on the lower third and the rocks going through the middle so you get like the beach the sea the sky and you get the various points on it as well the, the the rocks acting as a leading line to the main feature of the bow fiddle rock so according to my histogram there isn't going to be any blowout but i'll see in a minute if there is again for this shot iso 100 always f11 to get the depth of field and 0.8 seconds it's just couple of pixels that are blown out so I'm gonna go down to 0.6 seconds and re-expose much better I'm gonna try another shot over here about where you are <laughs> and then uh, I might head up on the cliffs
So for this one, I've gotten a lot closer, a little bit off angle. So instead of straight on, it's a leading line that heads across the frame, as you can see here. So I've got those rocks as a foreground and leading line through the sea to the bow fiddle. The horizon's a bit more central than in the thirds, and that's just to do with the placement of getting everything in the right position. So I'm happy with how that's going to turn out. Now it's time for the exposure. Here I made a mistake in the recording. For the previous shot where I am talking about the composition, I had turned my microphone around so it could hear what I was saying, and you can guess what, where this is going. I forgot to turn it back around. For this image, the light was starting to brighten up the scene, so I decided to put my 6-stop solid ND filter to slow the exposure as the previous shutter speed was half freezing the waves and it looked cluttered. This gave me an exposure of 25 seconds at f11 ISO 100. The first exposure had a little camera shake with the 2 second timer, so I changed it to the 10 second timer and I stepped back from the camera completely, just in case I moved a rock or inadvertently touched a tripod and that caused more camera shake. That worked perfectly and I got a really good image that I'm happy with. I had a look around the beach, trying out different positions, seeing if there was another composition. I have tried other compositions in the past and they have worked, um, but on this day I didn't really fancy shooting any of those other compositions, so I decided to go back up the cliff. As I said, I couldn't really find any more compositions on the beach, so I'm going to head up onto the cliffs. And I know that there are a couple compositions there because I have shot them before. So hopefully I can get a decent exposure up there, but there's no real light. I like the clouds, don't get me wrong. It's sort of, it's very Scottish, isn't it? Scottish seaside, you expect there to be clouds, but... Uh, it would be just a bit more atmospheric if there was a, just a bit of light, a bit more colour or sunset lights or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, I'm almost at the top and let's keep going.
as you can see I'm just trying to find a composition where the the rock the bow fiddle rock is you can still see through the gap the sea arch because that's the important feature about the rock to be honest um, but I also wanted to get some leading lines from the left and sort of balance it out and there's another rock called Bass Rock that is just over to the left hand side the only issue with this composition is that just on the edge of the frame there's a couple of rocks that stick in where I don't want them to I'll see if I can sort that out in Lightroom either by spot removal you know cloning it out or by the, how I crop the image it will just depend so I am just putting on my four stop gradual ND filter to bring in the highlights of the sky and I've also put on my I'm putting on my six stop solid filter because I want to smooth out the waves a bit and then I'll talk you through the camera settings because I've got the six stop on I'm getting an exposure of 15 seconds at f11 ISO 100 and that should really smooth out the water nicely I've still got it on a 10 second timer and I'm going to step back and just let the camera do its thing and hope that I don't get any camera shake whatsoever so fingers crossed the exposure goes well now I can see I can see already that there's been a bit of blowout from from here because I have it to set so that when there's um, highlights blown out it, it flashes black and um, so I'm going to adjust the exposure and double check the focus on that shot anyway so the focus is superb it's just the exposure so I'm actually going down to 10 seconds and seeing how that works step back and hope So there's definitely no highlights burnt out this time, yay! Now let's hope for the focus. It looks okay, it looks good. I think I've got rid of any camera shake, luckily. So that's it for this one today. Um, showing you several compositions using the same feature, especially the bow fiddle rock. I wanted to show that off, especially because it is such a beautiful feature here on the Moray Coast. And if you haven't noticed, I've had my hair cut, which is brilliant. So <laughs> I noticed in the last video, my hair was all over the place and I looked like a madman. So I'm, um, I feel a lot better now that I've managed to get my hair cut. Um, Today I'm going to be spending the whole day up on the Moray Coast and I hope to film several videos. I'll see you, I'm going to do a, a check on my batteries and, and my memory cards and everything else because um, if I don't feel I can record during the day I'm still going to go take pictures and going to save them for the sunset in particular. So that will be either the next video or the one after that. It depends how well my batteries and memory cards are doing. Thank you very much for watching this far. It is very much appreciated if you have. I do enjoy reading comments about the, the locations, about the pictures, and um, it, it's really useful to me as well. Hopefully th this sunset tonight, I can get some decent sunset colors. Uh, it was a shame that that didn't happen this morning, but you know, that happens. Yeah, you've seen it already on this channel, or let alone on other people's channels where you just don't get it, where the weather just doesn't come the way that you want it to. So it doesn't matter in the long run, really. I had a fun, I enjoy this location very much, always. Um, on my website, I've actually written a little location guide to it. Um, I think it needs updating, so I'm gonna have a look at that as well. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. It really helps my channel. 
and it encourages me to keep making more videos and to try and make them better. I am really trying hard to make them better. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed the variety of B-roll today. I had a bit of a brainstorming session to figure out some shots that I could do moving forward. Uh, as I said, I want to make this entertaining and I want to give some tips as I go along as well. So lots of stuff planned for this channel. So please stay tuned <laughs> and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.